Alright guys, we are back, and you know what? I don't think I have anybody. Let's see. I don't have anybody, like, that is just out there. So I'm thinking I might actually just use this bed and level up real quick. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna one up the body to there. That'll give me a little extra health. And then I'm gonna go ahead and up stamina to there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do blood capacity once. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. Which will heal me a little bit more. And then I'll have to make the big decision here once I get up to 12. I'm at 9 now with that. I would like to go ahead and see about doing this. Okay. You know what? I could do one more on health. And one more on endurance, which is stamina. There we go. Okay. There we go. And now it's going to play everything out. Okay, everybody's going to be where they're supposed to be. If you look, this jumped up from series to now stable. So that's jumped up, but that's also taking into factor that these two people are not healed yet. Him, I didn't have anything for yet. And then him, he wasn't in there yet because I had just saved him. Um, I still have to save her, but she's on the other side. So she's a save too. Um, over here, so that's now jumped up to healthy, almost sanitized, the only reason it's not is because he's got a headache, so I've got to deal with him, he's still fatigued right now, so I can deal with that, I was worried about that one, looks like no extra people have been sick, so that's good, Yeah, so it just tells you about the major events and merchants and stuff like that. Okay, so now it is saved at a whole new level. Now I'm going to go after these guys at a better place. That's why I was waiting for as long as I could, because I was actually enjoying the challenge. Oh, wow. 
human body. Whoever left these marks did so. Bet you guys enjoyed that one. Much better show. Okay, I've got two different things to do. So I'm gonna do the small mission first. And then finish it up with the big mission. I know it's been a little while since we've started with her mission. But we have to Good evening, Miss Hubbard. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Tell me, Thelma, what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here mm, before this island even had a name. You can believe what you want to believe. Why you do believe. you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate. Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. No, for I am a vampire doctor. Alrighty. Now let's tell you. Okay. One I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. 
Those hunters have discovered me, but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think we should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. <laughs> Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> Wait, now I gotta go back out to Lady Ashbury. And then... We'll see what's happening. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stone? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pain. You should never ask a lady but this, may but... I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27 I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Okay. I don't know. Oops. 
Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Yeah, Not a true vampire. Now. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy, knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Mm -mm. Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an echo, and that you shall remain. Are you an echo too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Echons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Echon are vampires. But all vampires are not Echon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. I've been away from London and England for three detailed years. Detailed information. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here, in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters, prepared and well-trained. Though I can't be certain, 
More than lightly, it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds um, like I'm a lesson from sharks. experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. So much to do. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I know I'm being quiet. Quieter, I should say. I don't want to allow you guys to hear it and actually get a... More of like a movie-like experience, because... If you're not the one, like, controlling it, it really can be more like you're watching a movie. Or... Whatever. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, this will give me the higher end stuff. Oh no, it won't. <laughs> Just kidding. Rasband Vasily was asleep. infected by Spanish flu, right. well, but also has asleep. the highly unstable Leveled blood up. of the skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. I will, but. I am first, and I'm halfway through the game officially. Believe it or not, guys. Or roughly. There's six chapters, I think, if I remember correctly, in this game. So, for me to already be here. is pretty cool. Yep, I want to go in here and buy that from Dorothea so I don't have a problem later. Stable. And this is from over the top, so I gotta remember which way I gotta go. Listen. This is the only time I get turned around, is when I'm trying to go. Ah, uh, right there. Found it. I just need to go over to the side so I can go in here and speak straight to Dorothy slash Dorothea. 
because frankly I need the headache medication or the migraine. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Good evening, nurse. How should I address you? Dorothy? Dorothea? Miss Crane? Dorothy is all right. If you don't mind me calling you Jonathan. That's fine with me. What can I do for you then, Jonathan? Show me what you have in stock, please. Right here. And then also this. And that's going to help a lot, believe it or not. Alrighty. Ew, yes. Okay, I'm going to sell that. Probably not going to switch back to that, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Because if I do decide to go back to something, I'm going to go to this. Sell multiple. From. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go back. Pembroke. Actually, no, I'm not going that way. A lot of people are talking about this Colossus. Perhaps I Actually. should have I need to talk to you because I've got to give you medication, Mr. Derby. No one is left untouched, and it will not knock at your door politely to request entry. Good evening, sir. There we go. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity! My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. Okay. Um... Let's see, we're gonna just do... Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this, in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? I'll Goodbye, talk to you Mr. later. Bates. Okay. So now we are gonna go this way. I have medication for you too, buddy. Eventually, I just gotta go and. The wet boots will be proud of me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go down here. Work in progress, guys. Work in progress. games or like the darker games or like the vampire-y type of games and like the 
think these types of games at night. It's quiet, eerie. It's just something about it. Okay, see? Right there. So, headache. Miser. I'm going to make sure I have two of everything except for these. Because these are harder to come by. If you see, it's 15 per. Ooh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Okay, so. I'm going to do one more of these, one more of these, one more of these. Oh, I can't do another one of those. I can do another one of these. So I'm like building these up. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go and talk to... Dr. Swanson, and then I'm probably gonna go from there. Double check, make sure there's no new papers or anything like that. You never know when they're gonna re pop up. Alright. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? So. Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Um, yes. yes, I have. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? Hmm. With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. I need to talk to you, Edgar. Please do so. I want to make sure I'm all up to date with the talking. So you manage a hospital financed by a vampire? Yes. Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. She's also our largest donor. 
If I may inquire, how did you meet her? Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. A convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand, day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. Nurse Crane will not be returning to Pembroke Hospital. Oh, really? Did something happen? She seems such a very capable woman. Perhaps too capable. Nurse Crane also ran an illicit dispensary in Whitechapel. I had to ask for her resignation. I see. Well, we'll just have to manage without her assistance. Okay. Do you know anything about the Almost vampire hunters in the East End? Without a doubt, it's the guard of Prewen, zealots to the last man. Where do they come from? Well, once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology on non-intervention. But they concluded vampires were a scourge. They're definitely well organized and equipped. They're extremely dangerous, and not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. We'll talk later. Now we're all caught up there. Knowing what is next. I'm probably gonna go to and go down here to the room. It's locked, all right. Okay, that's not the nurse crane. Alrighty. Let's make sure that there's nothing else I want to get ready for. I mean, I probably should use something like this. <laughs> Got so many. Velocity, firepower, velocity, firepower. Okay. I want to be able to do that one so bad, but I need good handle parts. Well guys, I think I'm going to just end it here. Mama Bear, signing off.